Mike Bond here at the World MMA Awards Red Carpet with Kay Hansen. And Kay, how are we doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great, thanks. Uh, how's it feel to be here? It's like a big night celebration of MMA. Like, uh, we don't really have this much in the sport. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, you know, when I was invited, I was, it was an honor. And, um, you know, I'm really excited to experience everything and see people get rewarded for, you know, their good year. Yeah, so give us an update on you. What's going on as far as your career? So right now I have a fractured hand. So I'm waiting on that to heal. And then once that heals, I'm looking to fight as soon as possible in the beginning of 2020 or 2022, but I just have to make sure my hand's healed before I do that. I heard it wrestling, so yeah. Is that an injury you've had before or something new? No, it's something new. It happened uh, a couple months back and then I went to the doctor and it turns out it was shattered and it's just been like, I don't know, I have another 8 to 12 weeks right now. So Surgery or no? No surgery, thankfully. That's a good thing. But just a bone problem. Yeah. So So it'll be Invicta when you fight again? Yes, it'll be Invicta. Yeah, so how are you liking the relationship there so far? I'm sure, you know, it's not progressing as fast as you want, yeah. but still. Um, obviously, you know, my intention was to jump right into Invicta and fight right away. Obviously, my body had other, you know, plans. Um, but I've been in the game a while now and I'm trusting the process. Um, I fought for Invicta before and they're very you know, small family owned, or family feeling owned rather, um, promotion and I'm excited to be back. Yeah, and I know not being able to fight for a long time is difficult probably like financially and stuff, but we know you have, you know, other things going on with yeah. your OnlyFans and stuff. Yeah. Like, how uh, much is that like a uh, just supporter in terms of like the financial side when you can't be fighting? Yeah, I feel like a lot of people knock it and I understand everyone has their opinion, but at the end of the day, it allows me to make the training schedule I want. Like, I don't have to get another job working a nine to five, you know what I mean? So it allows me to structure my camps and focus on what really matters and that's fighting so yeah. and I know I mean you guys as fighters you get hate no matter what you do exactly. but like how do you how do you block it out or like just uh, internalize it when people may criticize you for whatever you may do you know I'm 23 now I've been a professional I fought for Invicta made my pro debut at 18 so I've kind of I don't know I've got it for a long time it feels like no matter what you do people are gonna give their opinion and it's gonna be bad either way um, so honestly you just gotta block it out I've turned off my comments and stuff on my Twitter and my Instagram just because of you know I can handle the that like you suck you this whatever but it's like it got deeper so for me like that's where I found my peace just you know my social media is what I want I'm gonna post what I want and I can control it and that's where I'm at right now it'll change in the future but that's what I'm comfortable with right now. Yeah. And once you can accept that, right, it's, I'm sure it's very freeing as well. Exactly, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I don't really care what people think. You know what I mean? I'm doing something that not a lot of people would do. So, um, you know, the more you put yourself out there, the more people are going to have opinions. It doesn't mean you have to listen to them, though. For sure. We'll keep doing UK. Uh, hopefully the hand heals up quick and we can see you back there. Thank you so much. <laughs>